All right, so I just made an entire video uh, talking about a very serious matter. And afterwards realized that I had mascara all over my nose. And that is something that us OCD people cannot tolerate when watching a video back. So therefore, thus, I'm going to have to make another video, but I definitely don't think I can handle that kind of subject matter again. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a serious person. It's not really my genre, so I'm trying to branch out. And I was trying to branch out when I made that video. I don't think lightning will strike twice in the same place. So I'm gonna have to take some time, redigest the situation, ew, <laughs> and come up with something else to do before then. So I think I'm just gonna talk about how weird of a kid I was. Cause I know a lot of people will be able to relate. I think everyone was kind of a weird kid when they think back about it, but I was kind of on a weird level between boy and girl weird. So I kind of hit both areas at the same time. And yeah, that is possible because I did it. Oh, first, let me talk about my babies. <laughs> my baby collection. I had about 20 to 30 baby dolls <laughs> and my mom would take me to Dollar General and buy onesies for them. So they were wearing actual baby clothes and I would buy like bottles, pacifiers, <laughs> for these plastic inanimate uh, objects that weren't even as developed as they are nowadays where they do like bodily things now. No, my babies were just objects. Like they were kind of just like a decoration you would have, maybe like a flower pot, I don't know, a lamp. I just kind of sat there. And so I would pose them in places like on my bed. When I would make my bed, I would put all my babies up <laughs> and I would put the bigger ones in the back, the smaller ones in the front so you could see everyone. School pictures or on the bleachers, on the risers, you can see everyone. Um, I also, <laughs> I had a crib. <laughs> Why did my mom let this happen? I had a crib, I had a playpen, and I would put them in them. <laughs> I would take pictures, like, with my disposable camera that, you know, were all the rage, the yellow and black ones. I would take pictures of all of my babies. <laughs> I made a photo album of all of my babies. <laughs> It was like a family photo album, like actual families have with like living people who eat and breathe and go to the bathroom, not fake baby dolls whose eyes don't even usually open in my bedroom. Various pictures around the room, like not even anywhere else, just in my closet, in the playpen, in my crib. I cannot believe my mom let a fully grown child have baby furniture that she kept fake babies in but you know it's okay i'm glad she did and i would do the same thing for my daughter next up was the sims now this this is a dark period sims really took me down a whole dark hole a rabbit hole i was in a black hole in the solar system like it took me out of day-to-day -day life i was not a functioning human for two years. I had, starting with Sims 2, I had every single expansion pack they made. And that's like easily 20, way over 20 expansion packs for the Sims 2. They really didn't add much. They just added like a few pieces of furniture, but it was worth it to me. Every birthday and Christmas, I would ask for like five expansion packs. And that was like my big gift. And I download them to my computer. And my computer couldn't do anything besides play the Sims because I used up all the space on the expansion packs. So that Microsoft computer was no good except for Sims. And that's all I used it for. So it was okay. I could go. I kid you not, eight or nine hours in my bedroom in the pitch black dark, just playing Sims. I was obsessed. And my families, I would make a whole fam. I would make a whole family. I would actually cry if one of them died by accident. Cause you know, if you play Sims that the Grim Reaper will come if you, I don't know, set a fire or forget to feed them. If you do anything, the Grim Reaper will come and you have to like flip a coin to see if your Sim will live. And I would be like, freak out if my Sim died, like an actual person died. Oh my God. 
Oh, because I had a brother, I was also into boy things. So I was actually kind of more of a tomboy because of him. Since he was into the Lord of the Rings, I had to watch them all with him because you know, older brothers take priority in TV watching. So I would watch all the, the Lord of the Rings. I would watch the uh, Star Wars. I would watch dinosaur things. I would watch war things. I would watch superhero things. I've seen all the Marvel, the DC, all this stuff. All this information that is completely useless in my head is because of my brother. I mean, also with sports. Don't even get me started. I would be so upset if my mainly all boy cousins and my brother did not let me play with them. I would be damned if they did not let me play and I would raise a major fit. I was a hissy fitter and it was worth it so I could play those games. So I would play soccer with the boys, football with the boys, anything they were playing and also video games. I would want to play with them. I played so much Lego Star Wars, Lego Harry Potter, which Harry Potter, I love Harry Potter. So <laughs> don't get me wrong. Lego everything, not just Lego, the Shrek games, don't get me, oh, I need to make a video on 90s, 2000s kids things because I still live in that era in my mind and with the things I love, like, are you kidding me? I, I, just, <laughs> I exclusively dress in clothes that are not in style right now, but that's okay. I mean, this might be more 70s, 80s, 90s, I don't care. I grew up in the 90s, thousands, and I still rock it. It's just my style. If I dress like a child, then so be it. But yeah, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, there's the bee videos. I had this alternate persona. <laughs> I had this alternate persona called V. Um, and I would make videos of myself dressed in complete black makeup, as in black lips, black eyeliner, kind of what they would call emo or goth. And I would make these videos of V, who was a very, very hostile woman. I would make videos like in my closet of me being like angry and talking about things like tattoos, <laughs> things I knew nothing about. That was that. I don't want to think about V. We're not, we're not going to talk about V. Uh, there was basketball. I thought I was so, so good at basketball. And then I get to middle school and we had tryouts for the team and I barely made the cut with like 80 girls. I was on the very edge and they broke us into three teams, A, B, and C. And I mean, I bet you can guess which one I was on, but I, in my mind, thought I was going to be on A. I really did. And those were all the good girls. I was like, I remember telling another girl during, <laughs> during the tryouts, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be on anything besides the A team. Little did I know I would be on the C team, like barely. <laughs> but yeah, there was that. I had this thing with dressing up my dogs as characters. Like we, you know, there was the Halloween shop and you dress up your dogs on Halloween, but I like doing it year round and my dog was Jack Sparrow half the time. He was Jack Sparrow and he had the dreadlocks and everything. I had a hat that had the locks attached and the beads, of course. I'm trying to remember what else he was. I think he was a football player. Yeah. <laughs> and I switched out his outfits like that, kind of like my babies. Speaking of Halloween, I used to dress up as the weirdest things. All of my friends, all the girls I knew, would dress up as like princesses. And for Halloween, I dressed up as a spirit, as in like a ghost spirit. Not a ghost, a spirit. It's a really scary costume, trust me. A witch, which is pretty common, so not that weird, but like just very like dark things. Well, my parents should have been worried. If I was my parents, I would have been worried. But hey, look at me, I turned out fine. <laughs> There's just so many things. I'll probably have to make a part two for this because I can't think of them all off the top of my head. I mean, as I told you, I did not plan on making this video. It was just the fact that I completely screwed the pooch on the last one. But 
I want to thank you for watching, no matter what the case is, no matter what video this ends up being, no matter what my face, hair, outfit looks like, because God knows none of those are on point right now, but I want to thank you so much for sticking with me this long. I know it's been a mess, but I appreciate every single one of you, and if it's one person, I appreciate that single person, even though it's probably me watching this back. So thank you so much for joining me and I love you all. Please feel free to reach out over comment, message, Instagram, anything. I would love to get back to you on anything you want to talk about because I'm a chatty Kathy. Bye guys. <laughs>